Good morning, class. I am your teacher, Razal. How is everyone? Good morning, ma'am. We're doing fine. Great. I will check your attendance for today. May I request someone to please send a message to your other classmates to join us in the Google Meet now? Yes, ma'am. I already sent a message in our group chat. Okay, before we start our lesson, let us first pause for a moment for a prayer. Almighty God, you are the source of life. We thank you for all the blessings you have given to us. Thank you for giving us another day to learn something new. Clear our mind and help us focus. Guide us and our teacher as we study and create new learning experiences. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, let me read to you our class rules. Be on time. Act like you're at school. Sit in one place during class. Keep yourself muted when not asked. Turn on your video if your connection is stable. Raise your hand if you want to talk. And have fun! Now, can anyone recall what we have discussed about yesterday? Yes, Erin! Yesterday, ma'am, we discussed about the cycling of materials in the ecosystem. That's right! Now, let's play word association to refresh our discussion yesterday. Are you all familiar with it? Yes! Okay, I have a photo flash on screen. Peter, do you want to start a word? Okay, ma'am. This one is the water cycle, ma'am. Very good. Who wants to associate a word? Evaporation, ma'am. Solar energy. Photosynthesis. Wow! You really have listened well yesterday. Good job, guys! Now, Teacher Bren will take over the session. Teacher Bren? Yes, Teacher Razzle! Hello, everyone! Before we proceed to our next lesson, let us first have an introductory game called Bamboozle. I will let you choose a number from 1 to 16 to unveil the back of the tile. Then, you will have to express your thoughts on what the picture is depicting. Are you ready? Okay, who wants to pick a number? Okay, Erin? Number 11. Let's flip the 11th tile. Your question is... What can you reuse? I guess I can reuse my water bottles at home, ma'am. Since I like to stay hydrated, I need to have water wherever I go. Nice answer! What does Bamboozle has to say? Correct! Water bottles, boxes, and glass jars are among the reusable items. Last, Rich Lane, can you pick a number, please? Number 8, ma'am. Okay. For your question, we have, how can I keep the earth clean? Um, I can keep the earth clean by throwing trash to the proper garbage bin. Good point, Rich Lane. And obviously, you are correct. Thank you for your cooperation, guys. Now, do you wonder why the game is all about how can we help the planet? It's because our next discussion for today focuses on the impacts of human activities to the ecosystem, which will be first discussed by Teacher Michelle. Sir Mitch, take it away! Thank you, Teacher Buen. Did you remember the link that we have provided you last meeting? It is essential for today's discussion. It is an anthropogenic simulation that discusses the impacts of humans to the environment. Now that we have given you the link beforehand, I am sure that you have already explored it. Am I right? Yes! Yes! That's good to know. Let's open the simulation for our discussion, okay? Now, what can you say about this view? Yes, Alni? Um, I think it's an untouched environment, sir. No pollution present. There are a lot of trees. And I can also see animals interacting with each other. 
Nice observation. You have mentioned about the word interacting, a word that is related to ecosystem. So, can someone define what ecosystem is? Yes, Ben. Can you use the word interact in your own definition? Yes, sir. An ecosystem is an area where animals, plants, and other species interact with each other in order for them to live. Thank you, Ben. However, you forget to mention about the abiotic factors. Always remember that non-living things are also a part, okay? So now, let's go back to the simulation and click on the introduction. Human activities are shaping planet Earth in profound ways. It can be indirect or direct. With this simulation, we can identify some of human activities that affect the environment. Since we provided you the simulation beforehand, can someone give me a suggestion on what should I click first? Can you please click on the ocean first, sir? Sure. What can you see now? I can see fishermen, sir. I think they are overfishing. Very good. Overfishing causes depletion in marine life. Now, I would give the ability to teacher Victoria to click on the simulation. Ma'am? Can you continue the discussion? Thank you. No problem, Teacher Michelle. At this juncture, let us click the trees on the mountains. Hmm. Who wants to explain what is happening with this change? Okay, Elena, I saw you raising your hand. What can you depict from this? From what I can see, forests are being destroyed now. And from what I have read while I was exploring this simulation last time, this is probably for agriculture or other human development activities reducing biodiversity. That is right! Good job! You really proved that you have explored the simulation upon giving it to you beforehand for this discussion. And yes, it is for human development activities. This can be done through mining, deforestation, illegal logging, and more, impeding the ability of species to change their geographic ranges to adapt to global warming. Last student, who would like to volunteer? Me, ma'am. I would like to choose that wide area with the little house. Okay. From a wide grassland to... Ooh. An urbanized area. What can you say about this, Angelica? Since the population of humans have been increasing over the years, the demands for land, water, shelter, and food reshapes the planet. That small house became buildings since population is growing. Correct observation! Thank you, Angelica. Imagine 7 billion people inhabit the planet. Overpopulation can cause environmental deterioration and can impair the quality of life. I will not discuss each category on the simulation since I expect that you have done an advanced study already and we will not consume time. I am now going to click the remaining parts of the simulation to see the total impact. Wow, the impacts of humans really have drastic effects, no? Hmm, do you have any questions? Okay, thank you for your cooperation, everyone. Mom Jemima will now take over. Jem, are you there? Thank you, Mom Victoria. As you have seen from the simulation, humans impact the environment in many ways. Pollution, overpopulation, burning fossil fuels, and deforestation. Changes like these have triggered climate change, soil erosion, poor quality of air, and undrinkable water. We do not want our environment to suffer, don't we? That is why we need to take our part as humans to protect our planet. Okay, so to test your knowledge about our discussion, I will ask you some questions. So in your own ways, what will you do to lessen the impact of human activities that contribute to ecosystem failure? If you know the answer, please raise your hand. Yes, Alni, you are acknowledged. 
I will plant more trees, man. That's good. What else? What other environmental friendly activities can you make to minimize the pollution? Yes, Ryan? If anything is reusable or recyclable, we can use it again. Yes, indeed. Waste management is important. Anyone else who would like to share? Yes, Antoinette? To combat the rising issue on pollution, we must start first in our homes by cleaning and properly throwing our trash and by segregating them. We must also use bicycles and or even walk to minimize carbon emissions. Thank you students for your brilliant answers. Now, we, your teachers, will give you a short true or false test. We already uploaded the link on our Google Classroom and you have 5 minutes to answer it. Good luck! Okay, we already received your answers in our Google Forms. Let us now answer the test together. Starting with number 1. Number 1. It says that farmers spray their crops with herbicides to kill insect pets and with insecticides to kill weeds. This is false. It should be pesticides. Next one. To save the environment, farmers should plant a range of crops rather than just one. Is this T or F? True. True. Correct. Now let's go to number three. Number three. Pollution can cause problems within the ecosystem. The pollutants can enter the ecosystem by combining with water vapor in the air. This is obviously true. Now let's go to the fourth question. Shortage of food, water, and space occurs when population increases. Can someone give me the answer? True, ma'am. That is right. And the last one, human activities such as improper waste disposal, overgrazing, Air pollution and deforestation conserves the balance of life in the ecosystem. This one will be false. false. It actually disrupts the ecological balance of the ecosystem. Nice. Well then, students, that's a wrap of our class discussion. We hope that you have learned so much about our class discussion. Before we end, I will provide a take-home assignment. Take out your pen and paper or your notepad. Listen carefully, okay? You are required to create an infographic to test your understanding of the lesson. You will pass this next meeting, okay? Now let us have our closing prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. We really want to thank you, Lord, for all that we've done today. Thank you for giving us the wisdom to understand our lessons for today. Thank you for guiding us in our daily life and for giving us the blessings. Come us, take by your hand and hold us through the night. And when the morning sunshine comes, please fill us with your light. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you class for your active participation. See you next meeting.